Hey everyone, phase 3 is right around the corner, and a very important thing to do before or after that drops is to get attuned to the upcoming grades, Black Temple and Mount Hyjal. Thankfully, Blizzard made it significantly easier now to do that, and now is the perfect time to get that out of the way if you haven't already. So without further ado, let's see how you can get attuned to Black Temple and Mount Hyjal as fast as possible, which, if you do it correctly, you'll only need to do SSC and TK once for. So let's find out how to do that. Alright, so first off, at the start of phase 2, it used to be that you had to be attuned to SSC and Tempest Keep to get attuned to Black Temple and Mount Hyjal. But Blizzard announced that from now on, the attunement quest chains for SSC and TK are no longer required to zone into those raids, making this whole process way more simple. So with that, let's look at where this all starts now. So the first quest you can, and I recommend you pick right now, is the Vials of Eternity. You can get this from the elf Sore Dormi in the Caverns of Time. She patrols around the big circular structure in the middle. This quest is the only quest required to get attuned to Mount Hyjal, and entering Mount Hyjal and killing the first boss will also be a requirement to get attuned to Black Temple, but we'll get to that later. The bad news is, this quest asks you to kill Lady Vash and Kel'tha Sunstrider, the last bosses of SSC and Tempest Give respectively. The good news is, both those raids, including Lady Vash and Kel'thas, have been made significantly easier too through nerfs, along with the removal for the need to be attuned to zone into them. So given you find yourself a half-decent raid group, you'll be clearing those raids quite easily in theory. Now, the reason why I recommend you pick this quest right now is because the attunement for Black Temple also has you kill some bosses in SSC and TK, so you'll be hitting two birds with one stone if you're group manages to clear those raids in one go. Alright, that's for Mount Hyjal, which is a very simple quest in theory. Let's now talk about the Black Temple Attunement, which is a whole different story. Your one seemingly simple objective is to get the Medallion of Karabor, which you need to have in your bags to zone into the Black Temple, very similar to the Drakefire Amulet that you have to get to zone into Onyxia's Lair. And also similarly, this will be a very long and tedious process to obtain this. So the first quest on the Attunement for Black Temple is called Tablets of Ba'ari. You can grab this from either the Aldor camp or the Scryer's camp in Shadowmoon Valley, depending on what Shatrat faction you chose. And this quest will have you collect 12 Ba'ari tablet fragments, tablets that are rumored to hold the secrets for the infamous Temple of Karabor, aka the Black Temple. Unfortunately, those secrets are quite annoying to uncover. You'll want to head to the ruins of Ba'ari at 5938 in Shadowmoon Valley, and you'll see those tablet fragments with a green aura around them. Why this is annoying is because this place is infested with high-level mobs, and they can very easily overwhelm you. So you'll need to safely clear your way through this place. Dropping down in the middle of this camp will almost certainly mean your death. The Ashtong workers can also drop tablets with a 30% chance. This took me personally 30 minutes to finish this quest. As I said, this quest is infested with mobs and you'll have to play it very safe if you don't want to spend even more time here. Thankfully, this is the only annoying quest like this, so after you're done, head back to the quest giver and turn in this quest and grab the next one, Aronu the Elder. The tablets you grabbed reveal that there's an artifact called the Medallion of Karabor that allows you access to the Black Temple, but only the highest ranked Ashtong know where it is. So this quest will simply have you kill a non-elite mob which is thankfully just sitting there on his balcony at 5733 waiting to be killed. So dispose of him real quick and loot the orders of Akama from him, and turn back this quest to the quest giver, and then pick the next one, the Ashtong Corruptors. According to the letter you just got, which is from Akama himself, four fragments of the medallion were given to broken Ashtong. So you guessed it, it's time to recover them. Thankfully, the four mobs you'll have to kill are not very hard either. You'll have to destroy the three totems that protect them first. Each time you destroy a totem, three elementals will spawn. Kill those, rinse and repeat until all the shamans are dead, and you got all four fragments of the medallion of Karabor. The next quest, called the Warden's Cage, will reveal that the four fragments you just found are only half the medallion, and your only way to get the other half would be to get it from Akama himself, which is rumored to be a dread evil character. So you must now head to the Warden's Cage at 5153 and you'll be met with Sanoru, Akama's second in command, who has been expecting you. 
It turns out that all of this is a facade. Akama needs to look evil for the rest of the world, and most importantly, to Illidan, which he plans to betray soon and retake the Black Temple. But first, they need to make sure you are not working for Illidan. So you'll be tasked with killing Xandras for the quest Proof of Allegiance, a satire outside the Warden's Cage who patrols around the top of the walls. Again, this guy is quite simple too, but the hard tasks are coming very soon, don't worry. So turn the quest back to Sonoru and pick the next one, Akama. From here, start working your way through the Warden's Cage. You'll have to go through a hallway, then in an underwater passage, and you'll finally meet with the infamous Akama, who has been expecting you since you set foot through the Dark Portal for the first time. What plays next is a cool RP scene where one of Illidan's pawns come by and sees you, but Akama quickly applies a spell to you, making you look dead. After the demon leaves, Maiev, who has been held in that prison all this time, will speak and order Akama to free her. But Akama tells her, in due time, Maiev, I can't afford to put my plans to peril just yet. So the next quest is where the troubles begin. Seer Udalu. Akama asks you to go and meet this guy who's held prisoner inside the Architraz. Specifically, you'll find him right before the room to the last boss. That being said, the Architraz is one of the most annoying dungeons to do. I highly recommend you do this on normal and not heroic. So get yourself a group, creep your way through the dungeon, and interact with the dead body of Udalu. Before dying, Udalu wrote the words Atamal on the floor. Akama might know the meaning of this, so accept this quest, a mysterious potent, and head back to Akama in the Warden's Cage. Akama will reveal to you your next quest, the Atamal Terrace, which will have you go to 7236 and defeat Shadow Lord Death Whale to obtain the Heart of Fury from him. I highly suggest a group of 3 to 5 players for this, because this will be a bit hard. Unfortunately, this guy is constantly flying in the air, and the only way to get him down is by killing the orcs below him. The problem is, each time you kill one of those, there will be a bunch of other orcs spawning. So make sure to clear the whole area first of orcs before killing the next mob, otherwise you can very easily get overwhelmed. All of this is in theory soloable, but the hard part is when Death Whale himself lands. He's very tough, but you can easily take him down with 3 to 4 players at most, I'd say. After you've done that and grabbed the Heart of Fury from him, head back to Akama and turn in the quest. A short RP scene will start where Akama will be tempted to just take the crystal and use its powers to defeat Illidan himself but that's not part of the visions he was granted. So he asks you to take the crystal to Adal in Shathrat. So do that, head to Shathrat, speak with Adal, turn in the quest and pick something from here. The staff is what vendors for the most gold if you're wondering. But then, that's it. At first glance, there doesn't seem to be any more quests, but in fact, the next quest is hidden inside the Coilfang Reservoir in the raid Serpent Shrine Cavern. After you kill the boss Fathom Lord Carathras to be exact, who is holding prisoner Sir Olum, so find yourself a raid for SSC and start clearing your way through. Remember, by now you should have the quest Vials of Eternity, the attunement to Mount Hyjal, and if you manage to clear all of SSC and kill Lady Vash too, you'll be able to finish half of this quest. But for now, let's focus Focus on the Black Temple Attunement. After you kill Fathom Lord Carathras, Sir Olum will be freed and he will give you the next quest, the Secret Compromised. He reveals to you that the Naga of SSC discovered that he's conspiring against Illidan, so they tortured him but he didn't say a word. So from here, focus up, because this is very important to finish your attunement ASAP. If the raid you're currently in plans to go through TK after you're done with SSC, make sure to head to Shadowmoon Valley first and speak with Akama before going to TK yourself. That way you'll be able to do the rest of the chain without having to find another raid later. So for now, you must head back to Akama and tell him about this. So grab this quest, go back to the Warden's Cage and you'll finally be able to continue your quest to get into the Black Temple. What plays next is, from my knowledge, the first voice acted quest in the game. And it's really cool. So I'm not gonna spoil anything to you, you'll have to watch it yourself. Anyways, the next quest, Ruse of the Ashtong, will have have you go to the Tempest Keep, the home of Kel'thas, and slay his most prized possession, the Phoenix Alar, while being disguised as an Ashtong. So you'll have to find a raid and head to TK. Again here, having the Vials of Eternity quest in your quest log is handy. If your raid manages to clear all of TK, you'll be killing two birds with one stone. That being said, let's focus on the one bird at hand, Alar. Something very important that you really need to not forget is to click the quest item you got before 
before or while fighting Galar. This will turn you into an Ashtong and this is required to get the quest credit. After you kill Alar with the buff active and finish the rest of the raid, and kill Kael'thas hopefully, you'll then need to go back to Akama and turn in the quest and accept the next one, an artifact from the past. This is the final stretch, you'll need to go to the raid Mount Hyjal in the Caverns of Time and defeat the first boss, Rage Winter Chill. Obviously, Mount Hyjal isn't available as of the time of writing this video. Phase 3 will probably release in 4 to 6 weeks from now, so if you've done everything so far, you're set. But if you want to know what to do next, or if it's already Phase 3 for you, let's see the last few steps. After you kill Rage Winterchill in Hyjal, go back to Akama, and he will give you the first to last quest, the Hostage Soul, where he reveals to you that his soul is trapped in the Black Temple itself, hence why we do the encounter Shade of Akama in BT. But for now, this phylactery will allow you to move freely and not fear Illidan destroying his soul. So before the assault on Black Temple, you need to head to Adal and tell him about Akama's plans. Adal tells you, or shows you through images rather, that he sent one of his brethren Naru outside BT to assist Akama with the assault. So accept the quest entry into the Black Temple, turn it back to Xiri outside BT at 6544 and grab the next quest a distraction for Akama, which will also reward you with the Medallion of Karabor, the thing we've been working for all this time to get into BT. So I'm not exactly sure what's supposed to happen next, but I assume you'll be escorting Akama and Maev into BT while all the other NPCs fight the demons that spawn. Then you'll need to head back to Xiri yourself, turn in the quest and receive the Medallion of Karabor. Now keep this thing safe, because this is your passage into the Black Temple. And then yeah, the quest chain keeps going for a couple more quests inside BT, having you to do the encounter Shade of Akama and then kill Illidan himself. And once you do that, you'll be rewarded with the Blessed Medallion of Karabor, which will teleport you to the Black Temple from anywhere you are in the world with a 15 minute cooldown. Very handy. But for now, you're attuned to the Black Temple and Mount Hyjal. Congratulations. Go ahead and kill the Lord of Outland himself with your guild and get all the fat loot he has for you. With that, this marks the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the Classic Wild Curios channel for more content like this. I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye for now.